Here we're going to find a theoretical probability. This is where we uh, come up with a probability value by thinking about it and making a few assumptions rather than by actually doing an experiment and observing what really goes on in the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at picking a red apple from a tray that contains 8 red apples and 12 blue apples. Now I had to look a long way to find blue apples, believe me. But here they are, you've got some red apples and you've got some blue apples. And you can count them. You see one, the red apples are all counted and the blue apples are all counted. And you can shuffle them around a bit, but you've still got the same number of apples. And so what you do is you say the probability of picking a red apple is the number of favourable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So the favourable outcomes, we've decided in this experiment that the favourable outcome is picking a red apple, and the possible outcomes would be picking any apple. So you're going to look away or close your eyes and rummage around in this tray of apples and pick one out and have a look at it and see what colour it is. So we write the number of the favourable outcomes, the number of red apples over the number of apples, and then we write eight red apples and 20 total number of apples and that is two-fifths. So if you did your experiment over and over again, lots and lots of times, you'd expect two-fifths of the time or 40 percent of the time you were going to get a red apple and four-fifths of the time you were going to get, sorry, three-fifths of the time you were going to get a blue apple. And that is a theoretical calculation because you don't actually have to do the experiment, all you have to do is think about it, you know the numbers of the apples, you know how they're arranged, you know what the experiment is, you know everything there is to know, you can do a theoretical calculation and it saves you a lot of time trying to come up with a probability value.